Hi everybody, it's Sam from Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how you can make really pretty cards just using one colour. I actually did this during a Facebook Live and loads of people really liked it. I think sometimes you can get quite overwhelmed with what you've got in your stash, so I think if you just give yourself one colour and some white cardstock, you know, pull out your favourite dies and then just go from there really. So what I've done is I've, I'm actually going to be showing today using some Nouveau embellishment mousse and that's these ones here, but I just wanted to show you these ones which are using ink. So when you see me making the, the one that I'm going to make today using the embellishment mousse, it will be exactly the same kind of process, you know, but just using an ink pad. And you get wonderful effects. This was using an oxide ink, one of the Tim Holtz ones, so you can see there I've got that kind of faux bleaching um, effect on the background. I've used an embossing folder here with these butterflies, and then I've used the same butterflies throughout, and I will show you that in a moment but it's just it's it's just a really really fun way and it was just so relaxing to do this because I didn't have to go and keep thinking of what's going to match because you make everything to match you make your own pattern paper using the ink and you can die cut the butterflies I even stamped with the same color and even this here this is this was white card but I just inked just the edge really intensely to make it look like I've got a nice piece of kind of purple paper there so that's those ones and then if I just bring up the embellishment mousse ones these are beautiful when they catch the light absolutely stunning I think sometimes people think of the mousses just to use with stencils but you can actually use them in, in so many different ways and I will show you that today and again you've got this one here which is just so so pretty so for this one here I used a gravel background I'm actually going to use that again in today's video. This one is using a butterfly embossing folder by Apple Blossom and these will all be linked below. This one here is Shimmering Waters by Paper Discovery and this one is called Bark and it's by Creative. So the butterflies are all by Bright Rosa and these lovely vertical sentiments here are by Creative Expressions and again they'll be shared below. So yeah let me show you how to make these really fun cards. Okay, so these are the embossing folders. So this is the creative one, which is the bark. This one's paper discovery, which is the shimmering water. And then I'm gonna use the paper discovery ornamental gravel. So these ones are all five by seven. So I've got some five by seven cardstock here. So first of all, I wanna create my background. So I'm just gonna pop this in here and run it through my machine. Okay, so let's just take this one out and you'll see there that lovely effect that you get. So next I want to add my mousse to this. So for today's card I'm using this one here which is the Triple Berry, beautiful colour. Okay, so I'm just using a spatula here and I'm just going to take some out and just soften it up a little bit, just make it a little bit easier to work with because I'll use this as well on the other piece of paper. So for this one here I'm just going to use my finger, so I'm just going to rub my finger in the mousse there and then I'm just going to you just want to kiss the top. I mean, if you want to cover the whole thing, you can, but I quite like the effect of being able to see having the white background. Now, this does dry quickly, so, you know, you can build up with this as well. So if you, you know, you want to go back over it, you can, but if you try not to go too heavy, and then you just literally just kiss the top parts of the, the gravel effect there, and it just really brings out that lovely detail. Okay, so that's that. Then I'm going to trim it down in a minute. Then with this piece here, I'm actually just going to cover this with my finger and I'm just going to cover all over. Okay, so I've got these two pieces here now and you can see again all that beautiful shine. So this is going to be die cut and we're going to cut this down and use it to decorate the top of this and then we'll be trimming that one down. But also I just wanted to show you the two other colours that I used for those other cards. So this one here was using the aquamarine, see there, stunning. And then this one here was using the lemon sorbet, you can see that one there as well. So again, I'll try and link as many of them as I can in the description box. Then for the sentiment, because I also want to die cut that on some white card. So I think I'm going to do this one as a thank you because I have quite a lot of birthday cards. So I'm just going to take out this one here. And then these are the dies that I'm using for the butterflies. So I'm going to use the background and all of the detail. And I will probably also, that was a bit stuck, I don't know why, I use my, use some vellum as well. So I'm just going to go and get all of that die cut. 
Okay, so I've gone ahead and die cut everything. You can see all the detail now and that lovely shine on the butterflies. Everything matches, so we're going to start putting it together. So first of all, I have trimmed down this piece here so I've got a nice border. So it's about six and three quarters by four and three quarters on this five by seven card blank. So you can see how that's going to sit. I've then got this piece here which is the same height, so this is six and three quarters. Now the reason I've got this quite wide is I'm going to die cut this along the top here and I'm going to back it with some more of this and then this piece is going to stick along here. Okay, and that's then where I'm going to build up my butterflies. I'm going to pop some foam um, adhesive on this as well. So first of all, I want to run this through my dye machine. What will happen is you can see it cuts away the thank you so all you've got to do now is trim the rest of this away so I'm going to just snip just there and you can see now you get your thank you it's a really lovely effect and then what I'm going to do is just use my ruler and I'm just going to do a light pencil mark and that will just ensure that I've got it nice and straight and then I can just trim that away so now we've got this really fun piece to stick on, but you can see there the thank you kind of gets a bit lost. So we're going to back it just with a little piece of the matching cardstock there as well. So now I'm going to stick this one on top and I'm going to start adding some dimensions. So I'm going to run some foam tape just down here. Okay, so I've stuck everything down on there, so you would have seen me, I'll pop some foam behind that one and also behind this one, and then I've just backed the sentiment there so you can really see that one. And then I've just got now to build the butterfly. So I've got the piece of acetate, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue and then stick that one, just the body, so the, the wings can all stay, you know, lifted there. And then again, this one, and just sit that one on there. So I'm just going to go and build the rest of the butterflies. Okay, so now I'm just ready to assemble. So I've got my hot glue gun on here. I'm going to do the same as I have on these. And what I've done with the fourth butterfly is I actually popped it on the inside there. So I always like to work in odd numbers. So I'm just going to pop some hot glue there. You don't have to use the hot glue at all, but just for speed and, you know, just makes it a little bit easier. And then I'm going to have this next one here. Again, a little bit of glue there and we'll pop that one like so and then this lovely little very cute one can go at the top here like so and then this one just before I have to change my glue stick that will be enough to just pop it in there like so and then I'm going to finish it off with this one here which is the Morning Dew Nouveau Drop. I really like it, and you can see there I've just added a few. It does go on cloudy, but then this one does dry nice and clear. Okay, so that's the finished card. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. It's very wet, so I'm just going to leave those Nouveau Drops there because otherwise they'll start to um, roll if you kind of move the card too much. But um, I hope you like the ideas that I've shared with you today, and it gives you some inspiration on how to use the Nouveau mousses, and just to create a card using one colour, I think gives you a really fun effect. So thank you for watching, and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. Bye.